Hey there. Welcome back to another exciting episode of FDE Express. I'm your host, Courtney Harmon, and today we've got a special episode lined up for you. We'll be diving into the common blunders that companies make when it comes to technology in the staffing and recruiting industry. Let's face it, it's an absolute must in our industry. But sometimes we get lured in by shiny tech and it add it to our collection without considering the downsides of adding it to our systems. So in this episode, I'm going to share with you the top five most common mistakes that staffing and recruiting leaders make when it comes to technology. First mistake, we have the mistake of relying too heavily on technology. Sure, tech can streamline processes. It can boost efficiencies. But we mustn't forget that recruitment is ultimately about human-to-human interactions. When we rely solely on technology, we risk losing that personal touch that candidates and clients really appreciate and truly need. So it's crucial to remember the value of genuine connections throughout the recruitment and sales processes that our businesses drive each and every day. Mistake number two, we have the mistake of not integrating technology with existing processes. We talk on this show all the time about foundational processes. Whenever we adopt new technologies, it's essential to streamline and align it with our current recruiting processes, those foundational processes. Failing to do so can lead to confusion, can hinder the effectiveness the technology itself can have. The key here is to strike the right balance between leveraging the new tools and preserving your tried and true workflows that you've established within your systems. When integrating this, it not only gives your internal teams a better experience, which we ultimately want, it saves time and helps your teams truly work better, but it also allows our leaders within our organizations to better coach your teams, see the holistic view of the business, and ensure they have all the information they need to make better decisions for the business at that time. Our third common mistake is neglecting data security. In today's digital world, data breaches have some serious legal consequences. When dealing with sensitive candidate information, it's absolutely vital to have a robust security measures in place. Protecting your candidate and client data should be your top priority for all of your staffing and recruiting leaders. After all, trust is everything in today's data-driven landscape. Moving on to our fourth mistake. It's all about ignoring user experience. When we choose technology solutions, it's crucial to prioritize user-friendly and intuitive design. Both recruitment professionals and candidates should find it a breeze to navigate the platforms that they interact with on a daily basis. Neglecting user experience can lead to frustration, which ultimately hampers productivity, reduces adoption rates. So let's aim for seamless user experience when implementing new technologies. Last but definitely not least, we have the mistake of not keeping up with new developments. Technology is advancing at lightning speed, and it's absolutely essential for staffing and recruiting leaders to stay in the loop about the latest innovations. Failing to embrace these advancements can put companies at a disadvantage compared to their competitors who are leveraging cutting-edge tools. So it's important to be proactive in exploring and adopting new solutions that can drive more efficient and effective recruitment processes, but also stay up on the developments within that tool. Tools are updating, they're changing, launching new initiatives each and every quarter. Be sure you're fully aware what your tools do for your organization and what they're developing on their roadmaps. And there you have it. That's a wrap for today's episode on the common mistakes made by companies when it comes to technology in the staffing or recruiting industry. Remember, avoiding these blunders can greatly improve candidate experience, internal experience, streamline your processes, and ultimately enhance your overall recruitment success. Thanks for joining us on this episode of FDE Express. I'm your host, Courtney Harmon. Stay tuned for more insightful episodes where we'll be discussing the latest and best practices in the talent industry. Until next time.